Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today, we're gonna show you how to use M-Tracker 3D Area as a mask for a transition like this. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first step, we have a tape measure so we know that the distance that we're gonna travel back and forth is gonna be the same in both shots. Um, and then we're using a metronome, a free metronome app so that we can have a click so that we know that we're taking our steps at a precise amount of time to travel that distance in both takes. So we're just trying to establish that right now. We're gonna travel 16 feet and then back eight feet and then forward. We're gonna do that again in our other shot. All right, so we've done the same thing. We've laid out 16 feet. He's gonna use his metronome app He's gonna hold that right there at the same precise uh, spot, which was right under his chin with the eyepiece. And we're gonna come across to 16 feet, back to eight feet, and then walk forward. And it will look as though we've walked through the window into the next scene. And I'm gonna stand over here. All right, here we go. Okay, here we are in Final Cut Pro and we have both of our videos here in our timeline. Now, of course, we need to make sure that we track our clip, but before that, I just want to show you that we have our metronome beats inside embedded into our clips. And as I zoom in a bit, you can see that we've been able to match those up perfectly. We did record my audio separately, as you can see here. So what we're gonna do is now that we know that these metronomes are synced perfectly, we are going to just mute those. And I wanted to show you if I highlight my top clip, come over to my opacity, I'm gonna bring it down quite a bit. As I scrub through, you can see that those movements are, I, I mean, exact. They look really, really good. Now, obviously we're not using a camera robot, so there might be a few little, a little uh, bumps here and there, but for the most part, using that metronome and our tape measurer gets our movements really, really close. And then as we push through, you can see there, and then we are really happy with all of our movements. So now that we have that done, let's go ahead and fix the opacity again on my top clip. We want to apply M-Tracker 3D. And as a matter of fact, why don't we add a little bit of contrast here so that we know that M-Tracker 3D is gonna get all of that contrast in our scene while it's tracking. So let's move our color board above M-Tracker 3D. And now M-Tracker 3D will take that into account. And now we can click track to track our top footage. Alrighty, now that we are done with that, we can turn that color board off for the moment. Let's go ahead and copy our track. And then we can go over to M-Tracker 3D area because this is what we're gonna be using to create a very realistic looking mask inside of our window. So we're just gonna push down a bit so that we can get right there where our window is kind of in the center. Now, any of these are usable for this. It doesn't really matter which one you use because we're kind of disabling a lot of this stuff. So I'll just grab this one, M-Tracker 3D 19. And let's go ahead and drag it out so that it goes over the entirety of the clip. Now we want to paste our tracking data. So let's go here and paste, and then you can see tracking data saved successfully. And we have our gizmo here. So I'm just going to click and I'm going to outline the window. The window is not a perfect rectangle. This window has been here for, I don't know, maybe a hundred years or so ever since this building was built. So let's go ahead and click to finish. And now we have our rectangle. If we want, we can go in and we can bring this up a little bit so that we can fine tune it, make sure that it's right there in our corners. There we go. And there we go, looks good. That looks good, and that looks good. Let's go to FIP. I'm gonna turn off all of my animations. 
I'm gonna go to global scale. I'm going to click and drag and set that to zero. So now our lines have disappeared. So now you can see if I press play, it looks as though nothing is there. Now, this is where the magic happens. Let's go and turn off our fill animation in and out. We're gonna turn all of that off. We are going to change our fill mode to solid and let's bring our fill design opacity all the way up. Now we could stop here if you wanted to do a Luma mask, totally fine, totally usable. Because there is no green in this shot, it's actually gonna be easier for me to change this solid color to green so we can treat it as though it's a green screen. So let's just set that there. And that also is gonna help us understand that we need to scale this up again and let's make sure that we are really getting right there in the corner with our M Tracker 3D. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now that we have done that, we're going to select both M Tracker 3D area and the clip. Let's click Option G to create a compound clip. And you can see now that that green is following along in that window perfectly, which is exactly what we want. Now we go over to keying and just drop our keyer on and watch what happens. Now we have our clip revealed beneath and it looks as though it is a window looking right into that outside. And then it just pushes forward as needed for the transition. A lot of this comes from being prepared and filming properly, using your metronome, using your tape measure so that you know that you're doing precise movements. And then after a little bit of cleaning up and stabilizing in post, adding a bit of M film look for a cohesive color grade, this is what you get. It's a really cool effect and it's really easy to do using M Tracker 3D area, available now on motionvfx.com. Again, this is George Edmondson. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.